Since the commissioning of INS Vikrant in September last year, the aircraft carrier has been continuously going into the high seas. It's been part of several drills and exercises. But the most important part is that it needs to be completely ready for flying operations. At this point of time, INS Vikrant is ensuring that all the air assets continue to operate from its flight deck so that it can be battle ready very soon. A MiG-29K roaring on the deck of INS Vikrant. All set for a takeoff. India's first indigenous aircraft carrier is sailing on the high seas. Air operations are on. Preparing for combat. Within seconds, the fighter aircraft zooms off the ski jump. Taking off from the short runway up into the sky, maneuvering over the deep waters of the Arabian Sea. There are three MiG 29Ks on board INS Vikrant at this point of time, and also about five helicopters. But the aircraft carrier has the capacity to accommodate at least 30 aircraft, which means about 16 to 18 fighter aircraft, and the rest uh, can be helicopters. The LCA Navy has also made landings and has been operating from uh, INS Vikrant. But in time to come, the Indian Navy would want to replace their fleet of MiG-29Ks and the process to get new fighter aircraft is already on. Then comes India's very own light combat aircraft. The LCA Navy landing on this indigenous carrier. That's LCA Navy, the light combat aircraft, the naval version that has uh, just landed uh, on the deck of uh, INS Vikrant. Uh, now it's pretty clear that the Navy is not going to be uh, using uh, this version of uh, the LCA as part of combat but it's going to be playing an extremely crucial role as far as training and exercises are concerned. And uh, in fact, uh, the LCA Navy uh, had a uh, few weeks earlier made similar landings uh, on Vikrant. This is part of uh, Vikrant being completely uh, ready for air operations. And uh, we've now seen demonstrations where the MiG-29K as well as the light combat aircraft, the naval version, are operating from INS Vikrant. India's brand new homegrown aircraft carrier can accommodate up to 30 aircraft. That's 18 fighters and helicopters. The Russian Kamovs and newly inducted helicopters from the US, the MH-60 Romeos, will be operating from this carrier. This will enable sea control far from the country, both in war and in peacetime. The new Romeos are lethal in anti-submarine warfare. Flying trials started in November and by the end of May 2023, this warship should be fully ready for air combat. Vikrant is India's largest warship that has a capacity to displace 43,000 tons when fully loaded and can accommodate 1,600 personnel that include specialized cabins to accommodate women officers and sailors. 
The ship has a maximum design speed of 28 knots with an endurance of 7,500 nautical miles. The ship has around 2,200 compartments and is designed literally to be a floating city out at sea. India today is on board INS Vikrant as it sails about 80 kilometers off the coast line of Goa. Air operations are continuing several trials of various kinds of aircraft, be it fighter jets like MiG-29 or uh, uh, the, the, the LCA light combat uh, aircraft or helicopters. In little time from now, the INS Vikrant will be completely ready for combat. After its commissioning in September last year, INS Vikrant has been regularly going to the seas and carrying out various exercises. With camera person Nasir Abhishek Bhalla on board INS Vikrant.